Good morning, Merry Christmas, and all that fun stuff. Welcome to Richard Banker Web Design Tutorials. Today we are looking at RS Worm Pro, and we had a question here. Uh, how do I make the email to the customer admin with different values? So based on the, we we're talking about conditional forms uh, when this question was asked. So. I'm going to cover this topic. If you're looking for something different, then leave uh, another comment below and we'll do another tutorial on that. So in this tutorial, what we're going to cover is if you have conditional fields, how do you make them to show or not show based on if they have values or not? So if I have, uh, if I have an email where I want to send something to, uh, well, let's just get into it here and then we'll start. Let's let's make a conditional field here just to get things started. So newsletter sign up, uh, no thanks or unsubscribe, subscribe or no thanks. We're going to make a conditional field that will show up if someone says subscribe. If you need to know how to do conditional fields, you can look at my tutorial on how to add multiple conditional fields to RS Form Pro, and I'll put that link up here. So here we have this new condition. Okay, so now we have this uh, new field. And I'm actually just going to hit preview. So you can see we say no thanks, no thanks. And that field goes away. So it's conditional based on this. Now when we have our, our, our letter going out to say the admin, what if we don't want that email to be in there? So I'm just going to grab all of these. Someone from RS Form Pro is watching this. This needs to be changed. This is terrible on the side here. It's hard to work with. Everything else is pretty good, but it is hard to work with. So I'm dragging all my values and I'm just going to put it in here. So right now we have all of our values into our email. And we also have this tell us why caption. And what this does is this allows us to have our caption name in there and then the value in there. However, what if we have a condition where the email is going to someone and if the condition is met this information is supposed to be sent to user A. If the condition is not met, then we don't want this value passed on. We want this value to just not be there at all. However, we only have a certain amount of emails that we can send out, so we want to specify what information gets sent which direction. Uh, in our condition, we can say here, so if this condition doesn't get filled out, that means that it's blank, so there's there's nothing there at all. So that means we can say something like this. If, space, now we have our tell us why caption. We're going to go to the end of it, and we're going to add another curly bracket. I'm just going to clean that up. And then we're going to put a curly bracket at the end. Closing bracket. If. So what this does is if this has a value, it will display it. If it does not have a value, then it won't get displayed. And one thing to note is this is starting at starting with revision number 46. So if you have you know an older version of RS form, you may have to upgrade in order to use this short code because they added it about a year ago, I guess. So now when you send your email, if there's no value, then that won't get shown at all. The other thing that you can do in here is you can actually add text. So right in here I can say 
I want to subscribe because and then this and then everything within here doesn't get shown so you can actually control use this to control various texts as well if someone selects something then you can have information show up in your letter that won't be shown up uh, that won't show up if uh, someone doesn't select that so that's a quick answer I hope that's uh, what you're looking for if you're looking for something else please let me know we'll do another tutorial uh, thanks for visiting RichardBankerWebDesign.com today and I hope you have a Merry Christmas